Welcome to Economics for Students. In the previous analysis of circular flow of income in the two sector model, we have assumed that there is no savings by the households and no investment by the firms. Here we will discuss circular flow of income in two sector model with savings and investment. In reality, households do not spend their all income on consumption. Instead, they pay part of their income on consumption and remaining part they save for future use. Therefore, saving is withdrawal from circular flow of income between household and firm. Since it reduces the flow of income in the economy, it is called leakage. Similarly, firms distribute part of their receipt to households as factor payment and remaining part they keep as undistributed profit for undertaking investment. So investment is an addition to the circular flow of income. So it is called injection into the circular flow. Here we will illustrate savings and investment in our model of circular flow of income. There are two sectors, household and business sector. Factor services flows from household to business sector. Factor payment from business to household sector. Goods and services are coming from business to households. Here a new sector known as capital market has been introduced. Now part of the income of household flows as payment for goods and services and part of the income flows to capital market in the form of savings. So savings represent withdrawal or leakage from circular flow of income. This savings flow to business through the capital market to finance investment. So investment is an injection to the circular flow of income. Equality between savings and investment means equilibrium in the circular flow of income.